Hey, Wonder Hussy here. Good morning. It's early in the morning. Apologies, I look kind of rough. But I had to get up early. I'm here actually out in front of my house in Vegas getting ready to go on another adventure. But unfortunately, it's not really a fun kind of adventure. I've been hanging out in the desert uh, in Tacopa, California for the last couple weeks. And I only just finally came back into town yesterday because I had a bunch of stuff I needed to get done, you know. Stuff around my house, uh, editing, whatever. I went to the gym last night, because you know, I like to stay uh, in shape. And of course it was crowded, because it was after New Year, so everybody and their mom was working out. So I had to park a little bit farther away from the gym than I normally do. And to be honest, well, I live in kind of a transitional part of Vegas. It's downtown, it's, I don't know, I guess they have their share of, of crime down here. Luckily I've never had a problem because well, I've mentioned this before. My roommate <laughs> has this really creepy old red <laughs> molester van parked in front of my house. And I feel like that kind of scares people away because it just looks like some kind of creepy rapist lives in this house. So lucky for me, I haven't had any problems with crime up until now. No one's ever tried to break in my house. But <laughs> I was at the dang gym last night working out and look what happened. Some jagoff busted my driver's side window. I mean, I cleaned most of it up, but there was broken glass everywhere. People pissing on the street, you know, they just don't care. It's like a jungle out there. Sometimes I wonder how I keep from going under. Anyways, I collected all the bits of broken window, which, you know, I broke into these giant chunks. Um, and it was dark last night when I was at the gym. You know, I didn't have time or I didn't it was cold and I didn't feel like messing around with it so I haven't really cleaned up any of the glass yet I just basically went in and looked around to see what was stolen because well I do roll around with a lot of my off-roading gear in the car and fortunately whatever idiot did this <laughs> I guess was in a real hurry because uh well my car alarm went off and started making a bunch of noise and next thing you know here comes a security guard from the from the gym and so they just kind of grabbed whatever they could out of my center console and the only thing they got as far as I can tell was uh, my headlamp which I really liked that headlamp I had it plugged in to charge and my cigarette lighter my binoculars which do come in very handy for off-roading and exploring uh, they took my oh my GoPro I had a GoPro and a dash cam mount so they took that but those are really I think those were the only things they took. I mean, I also had a satellite phone and some walkie-talkies and a battery jump pack. None of those were taken, so... I don't know, that was just quick smash and grab. They just grabbed what small electronics they could find. Lucky for me, there wasn't really... I mean, I guess the GoPro was really the only valuable thing. It sucks, because I won't be able to shoot any more GoPro footage when I'm driving through the desert. But anyways, uh, I tried to go to the police department last night to file a police report, but it was closed already. It was like 9 o'clock at night. So... I got up early this morning and I'm headed back over there to file a report. I don't know if it'll do any good. Uh, there was a security camera pointed right at my car. So, you know, we'll see what, what they come up with. But I guess I'm just doing it because it seems I don't want to just roll over and give up. I'm going to at least try to fight this. Now, I do have full coverage insurance. So my deductible is $100 and it'll be an inconvenience for me. So... All things considered, I'm out a hundred bucks and a few electronics. Not too bad. Could have been worse. But speaking of worse, this police department that I'm going to is over by the convention center in Las Vegas. You know, I live downtown and the closest police station to where the incident occurred is right next to the convention center. And it happens to be the busiest trade show of the entire year starts today. CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. Normally I work that show as a model, but this is the first year in 15 years I'm not working it. And I was actually feeling really happy about that. I was looking forward to just staying home in my jammies, working on videos, editing. But unfortunately I have to drive down into the thick of that traffic now and file this dang police report. Now I'd like to shoot some GoPro footage of me driving down there, but unfortunately my GoPro has been stolen. So you'll just have to use your imagination. Man, the worst thing about this is my car says it's 39 degrees out and I can't roll the freaking window up. So I have the heater cranked as high as it'll go. Fortunately, it's only about a 10 minute drive to this police stub station. So oh, hopefully I don't freeze to death.
Okay, I'm using my cell phone instead of my GoPro, and that's probably not a good idea since I am driving up directly to a police department, and you're not supposed to use your cell phone while you're driving. Better shut her off. Ugh, okay, I'm here. Let's go inside and see what happens. I'm sure I won't be able to shoot any footage inside here, so I'll catch up with you when I get back out. Dang it! I got here too early! For once in my life, I'm too early. Apparently, well, the door was locked when I tried to go up, and so I asked, uh, there's a traffic cop here, a couple traffic cops working to deal with this miserable trade show traffic. So I asked them, and they said they think it opens at nine, which is 24 minutes from now. Ugh, which means I gotta, I, well, normally I'd go sit in my car, but it's so cold in there because I can't roll the window up. I think I'm just gonna, wander around and well, I brought some coffee with me. I'm gonna wander around, shoot some footage, drink some coffee and bide my time. All right, got my coffee, ready to poke around and kill some time in front of the old Metro substation. Now it's interesting, they call this the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department because most people don't realize this, but when you come to Vegas and you go to the Strip, that's not actually in the city of Las Vegas. The city of Las Vegas, if you look at a, a, a map showing the boundary, it's really just downtown Vegas, where I live. Uh, but this, I guess, is just across the line in the county. So the Strip, everything is technically in the county of Vegas. That's why I guess they call it the Metropolitan Police Department, because it's kind of like the metropolitan area. The city of Vegas and the county. I know, like, a lot of people have bad uh, feelings about law enforcement. Lucky for me, I've never really had any negative interactions with law enforcement. Uh, I mean, I did get a DUI once, but you know, that was my bad. I was driving drunk. Uh, but I think, well, my sister was married to a guy who was a cop. Uh, she was with him for 10 years. Um, and so I got to know him really well. He was a close friend. And unfortunately, he was shot and killed in the line of duty uh, back in 2014 in San Jose, California really sad and he was a great guy so i think my friendship and relationship with him and what happened with him kind of colored my perception of law enforcement you know i typically don't really have a beef although now that i think about it that one cop did wake me up in the middle of the night when i was trying to sleep in my car in missouri that time if you watch that video anyway here's the street in front of the uh, police department just so you can see the insane amount of traffic going by for this trade show. This is the CES trade show, the biggest trade show of the year, where they debut all those new electronic gadgets, devices. I mean, it's a friggin' mess down here. The convention center is just right down there on the left, right next to the police department, actually. Might as well take a little walk, burn a few calories. It's actually not bad, the sun's out now. I don't think my car temperature gauge was accurate. If it was 39 degrees, I'd be freezing. But it's cold. For, for Vegas anyways, for the desert. Okay, now we're coming up to the convention center here. This is actually kind of fun because, like I said, it's the first year in 15 years I haven't worked this trade show. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of fun in a weird way to come look at the convention center and be like, neener, 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 I don't have to work your stupid trade show. <laughs> Seriously, I used to work a lot of trade shows as a booth model and it was just miserable work. You gotta stand there for eight hours in someone's booth wearing high heels, usually some little skimpy outfits. So you're freezing because they keep the AC cranked up really high. And then for all that, they generally, like for a trade show model, it doesn't even pay that much. Generally, it's about 200 bucks a day. Uh, I did do some where it was closer to 400, but then I've seen them online, like. Craigslist postings where they're looking to pay like 150 so it's really not that much money to be a trade show model if you ever wondered what that's like. I worked a lot of trade shows over the years and thankfully last year's CES was the last trade show I decided I would ever do. Anyway it really sucks to be these businessmen going in here. Glad I'm not one of them. But I think I better just walk back over to the police station now and find a place to sit in the sun because I feel like I'm kind of, well, I don't know, kind of in the way. And to be honest, I'm kind of feeling some symptoms of PTSD from looking at that convention center. Ugh.
Yikes. Ugh, all right, finally finished filing the police report. That took like an hour. But I guess now they know what happened. And if there's some remote chance that they do review the security footage and get some kind of identifying information, that I might get my stuff back. I'm not counting on it. I also used the time while I was waiting to go in there to call my insurance uh, company and file a claim, get that started. So he's on the ball and hopefully they can get my window fixed sometime today because like I said, it's friggin' cold. And I don't wanna be driving around with a window down, you know? Anyway, now I'm gonna go home and clean all this broken glass out of my car. It's everywhere, all over the running boards. Ugh. Ow. Okay, well, it's the next day, obviously. And, well, to my surprise, my insurance was able to get a uh, mobile glass company to come over to my house today already to replace the window. So I really just, I mean, I didn't drive around much yesterday. I went, you know, ran a few little errands, but you know, it was cold, it's winter. So driving around with your front window down, it's no fun. I mean, like I said, I had the heater blasting, but you know, if uh, one of your back windows goes out, you can put a, you know, a garbage bag over and duct tape it. Well, you can't do that with your driver's side window. You kind of need to see. Anyway, the guy from the glass company is outside right now, giving me a brand new window. I don't know how he feels about being on camera, so I don't want to shoot him, but you can see, maybe, there he is, putting the glass in. Anyway, while he's doing that, I thought I would take the opportunity to open some of the fan mail that I've been getting. I went and checked my P.O. box yesterday, that was one of the errands I ran, and whoa, there was a ton of stuff in there. I got a really cool set of Max Tracks, recovery tracks, for inside, you keep them inside your car when you're off-roading, if you get stuck in loose sand. You put these under the tires to get, give them grip. These are like super big, heavy duty ones too. Unfortunately, there was no gift receipt in the package, so I don't know who sent them to me. I don't know whom to thank, but if you're watching this, whoever sent me the Max Tracks, thank you. And now I'm also opening, oh, I opened a, looks like somebody named Richard sent me a bunch of bone broth packets, powdered bone broth. I love to drink these on the go or protein. And then this package that I'm opening right here is just a, gosh, it's a grab bag full of all kinds of goodies ranging from hand warmers, instant coffee, a respirator mask, <laughs> dog treats, a water filter, cotton balls. I mean, there's just a little bit of everything in here, but it's really cute. Oh, look, even marbles. It's really cute. Uh, the person who sent me the package even included Christmas cards for my cat, my dog, and me. <laughs> How nice. William, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for the thoughtful care package. I'm really touched that you put so much, uh, well, it seems like you put a lot of thought into what you packed in here, so thank you. Anyway, let's go check on the window. Okay, well, he's still working on the window, but uh, <laughs> while I'm waiting, just look at what else was in that uh, grab bag care package. It's a little pair of earrings <laughs> that say, yikes. <laughs> oh my God, I can tell already these are gonna be my favorite earrings. That is too cool. All right, less than an hour after he showed up, Jason from Safe Light Auto Glass has finished my new window. Just like new. The only downside is it's not tinted like the rest of my windows. So unfortunately, I can't roll around and pick my nose in privacy anymore. But that's okay. I'll go get it taken care of. Uh, I won't have time to do that today because let me tell you something. After this experience, it kind of soured me on being in the city. You know I spend most of my time out in the back country anyway, and it's funny. People are always emailing me and sending me messages saying, 
young lady, I sure hope you're packing heat out there. You better be careful. There's all kind of wackos and serial killers and meth heads and this, that, and the other out in the desert. Let me tell you something. I feel a lot safer out in the middle of nowhere than I do here in the city. I mean, no one ever busted my window and stole my GoPro out in the desert. So that being said, I'm loading my rig up and getting the beep out of here. Sayonara, Vegas. Let's get out of here.